starting off this video actually walking into Lowe's right now. I got to pick up some stuff for one of my final projects for class. I've been working on that today and some of my other stuff as well. And I just need a few more parts for my project. They're about to close in like 30 minutes, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to bust this out. And then I'll catch you guys back at the cribbo because I do want to talk about a few things. All right, people. At the house now. Gosh, has it been an absolute week. And it's going to be filled with information. Mainly a fishing box, fishing unboxing this video of some recent stuff I got in the mail. Like this lucky tackle box. Also for my people over at Z Baits. They hooked me up that, and I'll be getting into that here shortly. But I do think, since I've been posting a lot of fishing content lately, like video after video after video, has just been fishing content, guys, popping it out. I don't really get to express much with you guys anymore and tell you day-to-day -day what's going on. And this week has been crazy, guys. It's been a very rough week for me for many of reasons, and some of those reasons I'm not going to explain in this video because... I don't think it should be out there for social media um, because some situations aren't even involving me. But, you know, there's just a lot of stuff that's been going on in my life this past week. But I am going to be telling you guys about some things I've ran into. So let, where can I start? So my boat is actually in my front yard at the moment right now. I've been having some boat problems the past week. I've had two different occasions. So if you guys don't know, we were at Gunnersville this about it was a week from a week and a few days from today we're at Gunnersville and it was pouring so bad that pretty much it poured behind my front keypad um so you pretty much you have the the keypad and the, and the dash or right by the driver's seat and then you have a keypad by the trolling motor where the keypad and the trolling motor got water ledged in behind it and I woke up in the morning and my trim and my libel were going off at the same time wonder what was going on um so I cut my boat off completely and I went down to the gas station because we we're filling up for gas and I was gonna take it to the, the uh, Ranger dealer right right then and there. And of course they weren't gonna be open. I mean, it was super early, it was you know five o'clock and I knew they weren't gonna be open then, but then, I mean, I could just go, you know, eat breakfast, whatever I had to do to kill a little bit of time before I went in, but uh, the boat ended up working. So when I was at the gas station, everything seemed fine. So I was like, all right, you know, I'll put it, maybe it was just like a freak thing, you know, you know maybe something, little you know maybe a little misconnection maybe something's happening so i'll put it in the water for a little bit and if it continues then i'm gonna take it out and take it to the shop well i'll put it in the water for about 30 minutes we caught a few decent fish then it started happening again i was like all right we have to take it to the shop so after that it was the front keypad which i didn't know at the time but it was it got water ledged in behind it burnt out that keypad and it was just freaking out guys so i gotta get that fixed but the front keypad right now is actually not um, hooked up at the moment so that happened with that being said with my trim going crazy I tried to go on the river the other day and my whole trim motor fried, and possibly more than that so now my boat's got to go back to Atlanta well anyways the Bassmaster Classic is this weekend and I'm hoping to be seeing a lot of you guys there if you guys are wondering where I'm going to be during the Classic and I would love to come talk to or if you guys come up to me I'd love to talk to as many of you guys as possible I think it'd be awesome you know, I love talking to the people that support me in my videos and everything that I do um, with everything right now. Everybody that supports me, thank you so much. I love to talk to you guys at the Classic. So if you guys are going to be there, definitely follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I'm going to be posting updates where I'm at. Main time, I mean, most of the time I'm going to be at the LTV booth doing stuff for them. So with that being said, that's a lot that's going on. I actually got three tires that have nails and staples in them right now on my truck. <laughs> I got to get that fixed and I actually just blew my subs two days ago as well and I have to get that fixed and finals week is right now and I leave Friday morning to head to the classic and the classic starts Friday so golly guys I, I just got a biz I just got chaos going on right now but I just got to get that handled to get everything settled so pretty much you know and with that being said it's spring break so it's finals and I get off I go to the classic and then what I'm probably going to do is come home for one or two days. Um, I'm wanting to come back here for, you know, a little bit before I go back to school. So I want to get situated. And, uh, you know, with spring break only being a week, I don't really want to go anywhere, really. But I'm having to go to the Classic. But when I go home, I want to begin my boat fix. Hopefully get some things on my truck fixed. Definitely the tire situation. That's got to get done. We just got a lot going on, guys. But I can explain furthermore in another video. And... 
pretty much, you know, what's going down or low down. But it's just been chaos, guys. This past week has been pretty crazy. And, you know, I, I just got to settle, settle in and get everything handled. And I will be filming a lot of videos at the Classic. So stay tuned for that footage. Also, if you guys are wondering about the Gunnersville footage, that footage will be out soon. All right, the Gunnersville video footage will be out very soon. Also, a little bit of practice footage that I filmed that will be out soon. So, that being said, stay tuned for that. Tournament video is going to be a banger. Stay tuned. First off, we got a lucky tackle box. I kind of want to break through and just kind of show you guys what's in here. Ooh, man, that, that looks juicy right there. I ain't going to lie. That's my bag. What? Wow. This is actually made out of balsa. Wow, that's going to be very, very hard to throw, guys. Uh, but, you know, God, that's a perfect shot imitation. I'm definitely going to look into that, especially that's out of balsa. I mean, if you guys don't know what balsa is, wood. Very, very lightweight. So, if I am going to throw this, I am going to need to throw it on a spinning rod, spinning, spinning reel, or just... With me, I'm very stubborn on that. Um... <laughs> And I like the third, everything on the Baycaster. You got some little stand-up shaky heads right here. That is something totally different. As you can tell, there's little ball-looking things on the bottom. that's going to keep it standing up. That's totally something I've never seen before. And it's on a little football head. That That's definitely something I've never seen. Maybe i have to give those a shot. You got some hooks right here. That's boring. You guys don't want to know about that. You got this knockout bait. What is this? This is like one ounce. This is heavy. One and a half ounces. Oh my God. Look at that right there. Honestly, I could see me catching some donkeys. You, you can catch some donkeys on that thing right there. Oh man, that's that's interesting. This, this is like stuff I like to throw, guys. You guys know I'm, I'm all into, you know, fish head spins and stuff like that. God, this can get down there, especially for the deep fish. I honestly, my, I've never seen anything like this, but I might have to... Keep this in mind. You can catch a donkey on that thing, I promise you. I guess we'll have to look more into that. Oh boy, what do we got here? What do we got here? As you guys know, some of my favorite baits, the Rage Series, my striking, some good, good old baits. And always got that coffee smell, guys. That's, that's good stuff. I can, I'll definitely put these to use. Got these little lizards. I've never actually thrown the striking Rage Tail lizard before. But that is definitely something I will keep in mind in the near future. This looks like, yeah, it's just watermelon red. I thought it was watermelon orange for a minute, but standard watermelon red rage tail lizards. Never thrown them before. I'm all, I always stick to the rage crawls, keep it very simple. Got these Cabin Creek crawls. Mm-hmm. Just some regular green pumpkin, just standard old crawl right there. Then you got you some smart baits. Senkos right there. And lastly, that's that's all that's in the box. I mean, what in the world is this? Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> oh man. You got something else to wipe just like the, the dude wipes. That's <laughs> there wasn't really a label on that until I, I realized it said open it, use it, and flush it. So that's that's always good, guys. You never know when you're gonna take a schmetzel in the water, you also Always got to be prepared. You never know what's going to happen. Now, let's let's look into this juicy box right here. That my people over at Z-Bates, my man Hunter, hooked me up fat. I actually already opened this box. And I've already taken a peek inside. Really appreciate this. If you guys haven't checked out Z-Bates, go check them out. You know, they're an up-and-coming company. That's really doing some neat things. They're doing stuff differently, as you can tell by this package right here. I mean, they're doing stuff differently. New up and coming, young hip company. Go check them out, go give them a follow on Instagram. Some good guys over there. But let's go ahead and hop into this. Well, this, if you guys are wondering what this box, or this bag right here, this is this is the juice, guy. This is a secret. I haven't even opened it yet, just because this is actually for a giveaway that's gonna be coming out soon. I haven't decided um, if we're just gonna do solely Instagram or just, um, YouTube, you know, I haven't decided that yet, but this will be releasing soon and one of you guys will get a lot of baits by them I haven't opened it and I don't really want to open it Honestly, I'll open it for the giveaway video. Obviously, I gotta take pictures and everything But uh, let's let's go ahead and hop into this guys First off, we got a lot of apparel. I know you guys don't care about that, but I do but 
Got a lot of. Ooh, I liked it. I literally got this right before I went out of town, so I grabbed some baits and like didn't unpack this. I grabbed a few things out of here. This is this is a secret. Oh man. Oh my god, you hooked me up. Oh my god. That that is amazing. And this is amazing as well because I actually just ran out of some bobber stuff. Dude, seriously, you hooked me up perfect. Like, literally everything that you sent me right here, I'm going to be using in the next week. Let's, let's go ahead and I'll, I can go down everything that's in here. Oh, man. I'm very excited. So, got some swim baits in here. These are up and coming, guys. This is this is some top, top secret stuff. Golly, I'm, I'm, I'm literally... This is going to be perfect. To pair on the fish head spin. God, look at that. That is a pack full right there, guys. Then you got the smaller ones as well. These are going to be perfect on my fish head spin. You whip this bad boy on a chatterbait. Killer. Fish head spin. Chatterbait. Looks like you got like a disco violet color. This is going to be perfect. Um, these are all whites. These are like a white. Just a regular pearl. And these are like a disco um, this disco color is actually very good in the sun. I've killed it on the mirror years back, matter of fact. And then we got some standard old Senkos. And this is what I'm saying with this company is doing stuff different, guys. You know, you got, look at this packaging. This is, this is, they're doing stuff different, man. That's some black and blue. Um, looks like you got some baby bass. Yeah, baby bass. And you got the old June bug, which is always old and reliable for all these ponds out here. These two colors right here, guys. If you guys are going pond fishing, you guys just want to go catch fish. But you want a June bug or like a black and blue Sanko, I promise you you'll catch fish. It's almost guaranteed, guys. But that is it with all the tackle I'm going to be showing you guys today. Furthermore, updates coming soon, especially on the Bassmaster Classic. If you guys want to see something in particular with the Bassmaster Classic, be sure to let me know below. I got a huge spider bite on my arm. Look at that. That's crazy. I get so distracted, guys. This is like 12, 30, 1 o'clock at night right now. Just got back from the gym. And I'm channeling everything, guys. But I got a lot of homework, guys. I love you guys so much. If you guys have any video suggestions, you guys know what to do. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell. Tell your friends about Kicking Their Bass TV. I got some new and upcoming videos that are really going to blow your mind. And I'm going to get a lot more time to put into those videos to produce some bomb content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to check out Z-Baits. Like a tag a box. And I'll catch you guys. Hold up. Be sure to check out the grind shirts. I might, I might as well plug my own stuff since I'm already at it, guys. But thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video. When I'm driving, I'm walking in the sky with some shooters. We jump inside of the Buick. You duck a half in the Rugas. A couple choppers, acoustic, and a guitar. When the music is, I'm alive and I use it. It's stuck inside of the cutest. I never lie, but the truth is I'm fing tired of these losers. And all my life, want the food when it's summer time and the juice. But I'd rather die than the losers. I'm out of time for I lose it. And strategize with the movement. And the Walk in the trap like a boss. Oh, how you know I'm dripping with the sauce? Oh, pretty with a face.